I make my triumphant return to 101 things to do in Minecraft. There's so much left to do, so let's get into exploring, building, and crafting. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a fantastic day. I am very, very excited for today's episode of 101 Things to Do in Minecraft because I'm doing something that none of you told me about, and I'm mad at all of you. You watching right now, I am disappointed in you, okay? The reason why is because none of you told me you can make elevators in Minecraft. I had to find that out for myself. And obviously, elevators are awesome. So I'm going to use that to build the house and locate it from the actual living room or whatever into the storage area. So it's going to be pretty sweet. My name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. And this is what the system for the elevator looks like, kind of. So you need to have the materials that you see here. Mostly soul sand and magma block. So if you have a soul piece of soul sand and a magma block, both of which I have in my actual world, you're able to make an elevator. So with this, if you apply uh, some, uh, some signs here, that way it can block the flow of lava. If you put soul sand right here, and fill each and every single block with water, then when you walk into it, it launches you all the way up, which is really cool. And then, if you use a magma block down toward this way, we go into here, brings you right down like this. So it's pretty, pretty cool. So what the idea is, this is obviously a creative world, just to show you how it works. So this is gonna be where the storage area is. So pretend there's chest right there, right there, right there. Walk into here, and then there's like a lobby type area. Then there's gonna be up and down. So up, go all the way up here, and then bam. All of a sudden, I am up where my house will be. Whatever form or shape that'll take is yet to be determined. But if I end up just like running into here, then I hop up, it's like, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. And then for me to go back down, just exit through this way. And then bam, there I am right back in the storage area. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back toward that way and uh, start that in the actual world. I am going to use, um, no, I'm not going to use creative mode to start. I think eventually I would, but not right now. So this is what I have so far. Now the house is going to be a little bit taller. So what I'm envisioning here, because there's some, you know, exit points right here for light to get through to the very bottom i am going to replace like the very bottom of the grass right there because the grass is showing from the roof it, it looks like dirt and it looks kind of bad so eventually i'm going to swap that out with whatever the grass is to something else so the elevator is going to go up to what would be the ground level over here now i don't know what the ground level is but it's going to be whatever it's going to be so if i go and grab all the materials here I'll kind of calculate how much it'll take for me to uh, dig up the area and do all that. So, it's going to be too wide. It's going to start right in here. It's going to be three high, two wide, all right? So, if I dig this out right here, you can see, obviously, there's the main world right there. All right, I should have probably patched that up a while ago, but oh well. I'll go with this here. It's pretty much all I'm going to need for the moment. But if I go over here to the nether chest, I do have magma blocks, obviously. You only need one. And you only need one water bucket and all that to make it work. So if I go into here, and I basically just make out, like, carve out... A, okay, that's very, very efficient. Wow. Uh, if I just, like, carve out a little section here, uh, we'll make this too wide for right now. Uh, nope, one, two. Cool. Patch that up. Uh, I wanted it to be like a lobby, because I'm probably going to deck it out with it looking kind of like a hotel lobby or something eventually. I don't quite know what I want to do yet, but I know that I want to do it. So if I go back through this way, and it's all going to have the same uh, type of material on the very roof and all that, so that's just something to figure out eventually here. Um, cool. I was going to say, I feel like this pickaxe is not lasting a while, but it totally is. It's just my imagination playing tricks on me. So if I go here, I want this to be... Maybe that might be good, actually. If I were really smart, I would actually extend the entire thing of these chests all the way back toward here. 
which I guess makes sense. What if I did it that way? What if I just got rid of this? I mean, I could, like, I don't want to add another layer there. You know what I might end up doing is moving some of this stuff over toward here. So it's closer. That way I can go down and this can be like the secret base of operations sort of a thing. Let me uh, do this real quick. That way I can save the spawn. So I'm just going to leave it for now. I'm just going to go with this being it right here. So it's going to be uh, one and then one. So you need like one block to buffer in between each of the sections here. So like right here, it's going to be the magma block, but I'm not going to have that right now because I'll take damage. So I'll leave that for right now. I'll mark it with dirt. And that is going to be the soul sand right over here. Clear that. And then bam. And then, really? Okay. Uh, bam. And then bam. All right. So that's going to go up. So now I need to dig all the way up toward this way. However high I want to go, that's how high I got to go. So dig through there. Beautiful. All right. So I can already tell where exactly I am in the overworld. Beautiful. So now all this is going to get replaced, like I said before. This might get replaced and become wood, but then when you look at it from the outside, it's still grass. So I might put like two layers of grass there and do whatever. I don't really know what I want to do yet, but eventually that'll be the case. So here we have our two areas here for the uh, the thing, the elevator system. I can't believe none of like so many people have suggested I do so many things in Minecraft and nobody ever recommended that I do an elevator. I am so, so severely disappointed in everybody who like there's a lot of people who, like, think they know what they can suggest for Minecraft, and I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea, I don't know if I should do that, that's not something I really want to do, but when you say the words elevator, it's like, come on, that just makes total sense, especially, like, if I implemented an elevator into, you know, like, the snowman, or something like that, that would have been even cooler, you know? I want to add, like, elevators to everything, I want to add a water elevator to, you know, getting up there, like, wherever, like, it's such a secure way and much more efficient than doing the um, the bamboo, the, the, the rafters, whatever you want to call them. It's so much better than doing that. So it's like, why not do that, you know? But I will forgive you. I will forgive you, collective viewer of the internet, and I probably, you know, have talked to you. Maybe I've talked to you before. Maybe I've never talked to you before. But I will forgive you this time. Only this time. Next time, probably not. So don't take it for granted. So let's <laughs> let me go back up here and uh, mark this off. I do want this to be too high. That way I don't need to have a third uh, sign to, to make work there. So let's just kind of clean this up a little bit just so this whole wall can be flush. This is all going to be made of cobblestone just like the rest of the storage area. And I, I really, really like this idea. I really, really do. I'm very excited to see how this comes out. And I hope it works really... I know it'll work really well. I already tested it. And I already saw... You know, it works in bedrock, which has also been a very key thing that I've kind of picked up on is like a lot of the tutorials I look up. <clears throat> a lot of the tutorials I look up are from people recommending things in Java, but they don't work in this version of the game. They don't work in bedrock. So that whole thing that I did with the wither and trapping it in with um, obsidian and all that, it doesn't work in bedrock. So, me watching that tutorial was technically... Really? Oh, this. Duh. Uh, I'm like, why is it not mining so quickly? Um, me watching that tutorial was technically correct. It was technically, technically correct. And I maybe I realized it back then and I just don't now. But it, it's right. It's just not for the right version of the game that I am playing with. So, it's kind of... You know, I don't know. And I thought about switching to Java... But I'm already in Bedrock, and it all works in Bedrock, and whatever. Apparently, there are programs where you can switch from being in, you know, one version to the other. I haven't tried that because I'm just lazy. Oh. And it's just, a, it's just a more extra effort, you know? I like going into Minecraft, doing what I got to do, and getting out of here, you know? So, that's that. And then for right now, I already like this. I already like the way this looks. I, I appreciate it. Tremendous. All right. So I want this to be here. And just to make it look kind of symmetrical, it's going to go there, there. Beautiful. All right. So now technically, this thing could work. I'm going to swap this out. 
For that right there, it does damage you, so be careful. I don't know why I felt the need to demonstrate that again, but I didn't have to. And uh, the thing to note with this right here is you need to have a block for every single block you're going up of water, is what I'm trying to say. So you can't just have one water block and then have it fall down. You have to have a water block going through the entire thing here. So keep that in mind. That's what I'm going to be going into creative for, because going back and forth to get all of those uh, blocks of water is probably not going to be too fun. So let's say I do... No, obviously not that. Whatever. Uh, let's say I want to go and need to get more cobblestone. Cool. All right. Well, I can kind of do this right now. So if I put this right here, it's going to go all the way down. Nope. Just kidding. Now it's going to go all the way down. But it won't necessarily connect. So right now, this system does not work. Right? But if I go and grab like this, and I grab like a couple more blocks, like if I do it right here, it should work. No. Okay, no. Interesting. So it's like grabbing the one water block right there. Where's the, uh, the block of water? Right there? Okay, cool. So if I give it like a couple more blocks, it should work, but... It's not going to fully, fully work until I get every single thing with this working in unison. So, don't, you know, I might fail right here. But yeah, you can kind of see it right here. So the bubbles are going up. So it is technically launching me up right now, just not all the way to the top. And the function of this is that it's supposed to launch you all the way to the top without you needing to press the space bar. So that is the key thing that kind of makes this more unique than just having a giant water flume taking you all the way to the top or anything like that. So, let's say the house I want to be... What level am I at? I'm like at that level right there. Because um, I want to have like a clean way of getting from the very front to that area right there. So let's say I am one above right now, I think. So let's say I want to go... Up toward here. I know I can go in creative and do this, but I'm not going to. Not right now. There we go. Okay. So then, this is two away. So one, two, blank. Bam. All right. So now, I want the doors to be right there. So that way, when I exit out the middle here, it's going to be on beautiful. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Bam. Right there. Not dealing with you guys. So if I go right here... This is... Does that line up with the pathway? Wow, that lines up with the pathway perfectly. Look how slick I am. Pat on the shoulder. Pat on the shoulder. I'm so good. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So this is where it's going to be. This is technically the main floor. So I'm going to plop these. I need more. Really? Okay. Oh, it's water. Oh, I'm like ice, of course. Oh, and now it technically won't let me through because it's shooting me up. Nice. All right. So if I grab this, it's still not going to let me go. Well, it kind of did. Uh, let's see. I need to grab more cobblestone. No, I'm a dummy. It's over here. Cool. Now, the main floor of the house is not going to be cobblestone. I want to do an entirely separate system and building style than what I have going on over here. Or at least, you know... Very different from what I normally do. I feel like I need to get outside the box in terms of, you know, things and building style and whatnot. I feel like I've had the same building style kind of forever. So I'm going to probably experiment off camera and see if I come up with something I like. Which is not a guarantee because I, I am a very, very picky man. But for right now, just going to build the structure and then do it up that way. So now... If I do this correctly, right there, bam. All right, so that's going that way. So if I uh, fill the rest of this in right here, okay, there's that. And again, this pathway is not going to be four wide over toward this way. It's going to be a bit, you know, different than that. So now I want one wall at least to be right here. So I don't want to have like, you know, a random hole in the floor where that's going to be. I want it to be like a more secure thing. So let's say the wall is right here. And again, I need more cobblestone. Jeez. All right. So you get the idea. So I'm going to go into creative mode and I'm going to, you know, fulfill the rest of these right here because I obviously have enough. 
down there. I don't want to have to keep pulling from it there. And so I'm going to get rid of any excess blocks down there because I feel like I don't need that. I'm just going to alleviate, you know, this right here. I don't need that. So right here is all that is structurally necessary to make that work. All right. So that's uh, rock and roll in there. And I can go all the way down toward this way. And it's going to be kind of a drawbridge, I guess. Like, I'm expecting the house to start here. Like, if the house started right there, or even, like, a little bit further back. So if I had, like, a little bit of a lawn going up toward the front of the house, like, something like this. And then I want this house not to be a McMansion. I really don't, because I don't need a massive house like that, both in real life and in Minecraft. I want it to be a functionally sound house. So... If I'm, like, you know, running from mobs, going through the double doors this way, and then, shoop, I can go right down that way. So, let's say I'm all the way at the first floor down here. So you can see, like, this is technically pushing me up right here. Then if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that's fourteen right there, right? But... That's broken by ice, so now it should work just as intended. Or if anything, if you're in creative mode, just like spam. There you go. Just spam all the water and hope for the best. So now if I do that, it'll cover that up. Nice. All right. Just right there for now. There's that, and there's that. So now that I have a block above here, it will not block the, you know, water from being a thing. So now if I do this... And go all the way through this way it will start dragging me down so if i go out of that mode right here it'll drag me all the way down and even if i try to like swim up it won't go so if you happen to be underwater and you have a magma block you have to literally walk off it otherwise you are in some trouble so you can walk out of it just fine but like you can't swim up unless you're in creative mode obviously so now if we go all the way this way it should work yes it does Beautiful. Just make sure it's secure. And there it is. So there's the system there that's going to work for the elevator eventually. Well, the elevator does work. So what's probably going to happen is... Yeah. Okay. So let's say... I, no, I don't want that. I want this. I want grass. So let's say I get rid of all this, right? What type of wood do I want for the top? I feel like I shouldn't use this... And I feel like this should kind of extend all the way to the top now. So let's say if I get rid of that, right? Nope. There we go. Right up toward that way. It should go all the way to the top. Because why not? There we go. Just like, you know, small additional little things here. I mean, I don't really mind how this looks either. I think that looks fine. Especially if I made some uh, cobblestone um, stairs and made like an arcway right here. That might look good. So if I go like this. Yeah, that, that looks good serviceable i'm not 100 percent happy with it but whatever you know it'll do for now it'll do so if i go all the way through here i'm obviously i should get rid of the snow on here first but basically if i get rid of that or rather continue it up toward this way so instead this grass level will be right here and the light would take technically a little bit longer to get through it would take an extra block in order to you know work with but like i think it's fine you know so if, like this would technically be the new ground level and then when i get rid of all of the dirt beneath me right here that's actually going to work with you know not having the snow be on the same level and it'll it'll work out very nicely so and some of the actual you know lights like that was already over here that was at level so I really should have done this a long time ago, and it's probably something I should have done off camera, but whatever, you know? Sometimes I get too carried away with a particular project or thing I want to do, and then it gets pushed back, and that's basically a metaphor for, like, I know, my life in general. It's like, I want to do all these cool things, but then I forget, or something else gets in the way, or whatever, you know? So if I do this... And then I go over here, do the exact same thing. So now when I look down, you don't see that second, you know, edge right there. It morphs in together. So it still looks really good. Then I'm going to fill this in over here because obviously the uh, dirt goes a lot further than just that little section there. 
And so I'm going to decide on what type of wood I would like to make the top there or something else entirely different. I'm assuming I'm going to go with a wood type because that's what I've done so far. And this is still like the storage area. So boom, there you go. There's that except for this right here. There we go. All right, so that's the idea with that at least. Toss that. Nope, right there. Okay, cool. I feel like there should be another set of lights, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that... Okay. That, uh... Is that the... Oh. Okay. Uh, what if I did this? One, two, th one, two, three. And then... No, that wouldn't work. Hold on, wait. One, two, three, and then one, two, right? Would that be cool? Maybe. Oh, this has to be one less high. So if I get rid of all this, no, that. If I do all, th so this is like what goes through my head when I'm doing these things off camera. This is exactly what I do. So if I do that, there we go, and. There we go. I just don't vocalize it. I just do it. So there we go. There's that. You can obviously see the dirt here, but now when I remove it, it's going to be totally okay. No snow on here, which is excellent. Good to see. I could actually remove, like, this entire section right here. So, and I obviously don't need the dirt. I don't need the glass or anything else. I can just kind of keep going here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's not good, but whatever. Boom. So... What material do I want to make this? That's kind of the million dollar question right now, you know? And I think, real quick, they also improved, like, the speed at which you can destroy blocks like this because I feel like this is a lot faster when you move from, like, side to side like that. Like, I noticed that when I was making the nether transportation system. Like, when I was, you know, digging out everything and placing everything. It's a lot faster. Or at least it feels like it's a lot faster. So maybe that's a intentional thing. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Whatever. So, what material should it be? It's technically cobblestone right up here, but I feel like having cobblestone connect everything here is kind of lame. So, I don't know. Should it be planks? Should it be just the, the wood? I, I don't know. Um, what if I... That's stripped wood? How does that look? If I did this... I feel like that looks okay. I mean, this is technically a lot of resources, but it's still something that, like, you know, I can possibly do because I have the, the typical wood out here. I just need to harvest a ton of the logs and strip it down. So it's not as much cheating, I don't think, if I do it this way. You know, just to do something different. I'm going to do this real quick and see what it looks like. All right, so it looks a lot fancier, which I like, okay? Okay. The thing I'm probably going to change is, like, these pillars right here. So, having this looks really good. I really like that look. So, if I remove... Uh-oh. Well, oops. I'm going to have to rename a lot of the chests and whatnot here. But if I, you know, eventually change everything over right here, it's going to look really good. So, I'm probably going to do that off-camera just because it'll take a little while. And, yeah. So, eventually... I'll figure out what to do. I'll swap this out right here. So that way, I can get everything looking real nice. And uh, polish it up. And I'm also starting to lose my voice because I've been doing so many videos today. So, I'm going to get out of here. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do that. And a little bit more of this over here. As I wrap up 101 things to do in Minecraft for right now, uh, I hope you have a great day and uh, continue to sleep well and meow it out and all that. All right. See ya. Bye.